Hi guys, welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see how we can connect the PostgreSQL DBA using PG Admin. Of the database created, you can use any standard SQL client utility to connect to the DB instance. We have two options for connecting to a PostgreSQL DB instance. The first one is PG Admin. Next one is a PSQL. In this session, we are going to use PG Admin. It is a popular open source administration and uh, development tool for uh, PostgreSQL. You can download and use a PG Admin without having a local instance of PostgreSQL on your client computer. You can download the PG Admin in this link in the download page. You need to click Windows. In this page, we are seeing the multiple versions. You can download based on your requirement. Before you connect to the DB instance, you need to create a new security group and assign that security group to your new DB instance. In the upper right corner of the address console, choose services and drop down the page and choose VPC. In the upper right corner of the AWS console, choose your AWS region, which you already created your database. Database and VPC should be created in the same region. Every AWS region, you should be see at least one VPC and uh, several subnets. The navigation pan, choose security groups. In this page, choose create security group. In the create security group page, in basic details, enter the security group name under descriptions. For VPC, choose the VPC that you want to create your DB instance. Inbound rules, choose all rules. For type, choose PostgreSQL. 5432 port range is default value for PostgreSQL. For source, choose security group name. If you want to associate any security group, then you can choose your security group. If you want to choose my IP address, then you can choose your uh, IP address. If you choose my IP, then you know it will display the your IP address here. If you choose anywhere option in the source, then it will allow all IP address to connect to a DB instance. If you want to add more IP addresses or different port ranges, Choose add rule and enter the information for the rule. Same like above. It is uh, optional in out outbound rules. Add rules for uh, outbound traffic. By default, uh, it allow all. Uh, by default, all outbound traffic is allowed. Here, choose create security group. Now, security group has been created. After created security group, you need to assign your security group to your new DB instance, which is created recently. Open the RDS console, the navigation panel, choose databases, then open your database which is recently created. In the database page, choose modify, scroll down this page. In the connectivity session, remove default security group and assign your security group which is recently created. Expand additional configurations and choose publicly accessible. And scroll down your page in the bottom. Then you need to choose continue. In this page, summary of modification section. You can validate current and new value. In the scheduling of modification section, you need to choose apply immediately. And then choose modify DB instance. Take a few minutes to modify. Once modification is completed, you can verify the modification details in the connectivity and the security tab. Our security group has been changed for connecting the DB instance. You need to choose your uh, PostgreSQL, skill, which is created recently. In the database page, connectivity and the security tab, you need to copy the endpoint and uh, port number. You need both endpoint and port number to connect to the DB instance. In the PG admin page, right click on the item servers and choose create and choose server and type the connection name. In the connection tab, enter the DB instance endpoint in the host box. You need to copy this endpoint from your RDS uh, DB page. Database name, you can leave it as it is default. Username, you need to type your uh, master username. Password, you need to type your master username password. If you create your database using easy create option, then it will not choose the DB instance name. 
master username you can find in the configuration tab then choose save now our db instance is connected in pg admin application here we are seeing the database details you want to create the new database then you need to right click the databases then choose create then choose database here you need to type your uh, database name demo db 01 the owner name is default uh, master username if you want you can change the owner then choose save now the new database is created in the configuration tab we are seeing default parameter group for creating new parameter group you can refer next video in my youtube channel thanks for watching this video please subscribe and uh, refer your friends